Hello friends. In today's video, again we are gonna, going to talk about paginated reports. In last video, yesterday's video, I will put the link in the description. I talked about cascading parameters. Now, if your paginated report contains cascading parameters and you are planning to embed that paginated report in your Power BI report, there are a few things you need to take care of. Otherwise, you will see some unexpected errors, which is sometimes is hard to figure out what those are. In this video, I will go over where the problem is and what the fix is to avoid uh, those error messages. Let's get to Power BI and take a look at the solution First add the problem and then the solution. Okay, here I have uh, this report uh, where I have a customer as a slicer and then product as a slicer and at the bottom I'm just showing a sales by product. Uh, in my yesterday's video, again the link is in the description, I have a cascaded parameter where I select a customer and then it gives me the list of the products which we sold to that customer. So only the list of product that has been sold to the customer in, in paginated report. And uh, I published that report to Power BI service. We're gonna embed that and try to reproduce the error um, and then the solution for it. So let's go to uh, embed that report. Connect to report. It's already been published, so I will pick this up. It's called uh, product parameter based on customer. And then we will have, we have to set the parameters. Of course, first parameter is customer. Put on the parameter uh, pane here. And the uh, next is product. Let's uh, map these. Customer parameter goes to customer value and the product parameter goes to product value and C report. <clears throat> okay, so we have selected Aaron Alexander. Here is Power BI showing a $70 sales. Of course, there's no decimal here, but I in Pagina there's a decimal $69.99. So this is the product has been sold to uh, Aaron Alexander. If I click on Aaron Adams, uh, these are the four products. Of course, if I apply changes and it shows me the sale 118, 107. So it's working as expected. Now, if I select Aaron Allen, this, does, this customer does not have any sales. And if I try to apply the changes here, Nothing happens in this case, does not refresh. Sometimes it produces the error, I will show you, but sometimes it, does it doesn't do anything at this point in time. It's very hard to know what's going on. If you just switch between pages, I go to page one and then come back to my page seven, it refresh or reload the visual, I don't know, and then you will see this error, which tells you have uh, uh, attempted to pass an invalid parameter value. So basically we are passing Aaron Allen as in a value which does not have any product and we are getting this error. So what we need to avoid that is, so first fix is, so we should only show the customers in our list which has the sales. To do so, what we can do here is we can put our uh, dollar sales in our filter on the visual where the value is not blank. So now as you see, Aaron Allen is not as part of the list anymore. So having said that, we cannot select Aaron Allen so we can avoid this error. So that is, so if I go back to now Aaron Adams, of course I select apply changes and everything works fine. Now the customer which does not have any sale sales, uh, that customer is not part of my selection. So when you are embedding a paginated report in your Power BI, you have to make sure that if you are passing these slices value that you are taking care of, uh, you are basically filtering your list in your slicer. 
Same happens with the, if I select, let's say the Aaron Adams has four products. So only those four, these four products has been sold to uh, Aaron Adams. But now my product list is all showing all the product products. If I pick like first two product, which are not sold to Aaron Adams. Now my, uh, of course, as you can see, this does not show any sales. It means there is no sales of these products based on the customer I have selected. So if I apply changes, again, nothing happens here. It's, it's not refreshing the visual. If, if I go and switch back and forth between pages, all of a sudden I will see that nasty message with, uh, with some error. Again, the going back to the solution which I mentioned about is to filter our selection based on the sales. So again, I'm gonna put the same filter on my product slicer as well, where my sales, which is just a simple sum uh, of sales is not blank so that it only shows, uh, of course, we have to clear this. So now when I select Aaron Adams, my slicer is only showing those four uh, products which has been sold to uh, customer Aaron Adams. If I select Aaron Alexander, again, same, only one product. Now, if I go select the product, uh, because now my selection is narrowed down based on the sales and uh, if I apply the changes uh, in Power BI you don't get that error because we see the blank visual here but the same um, if we have a customer and product passed as in a parameter to paginated report we sometimes it does not refresh or give us that error message um, in this particular visual I see error happens once in a while I have another paginated report which I embedded uh, in, in in here as well. That has a, a date slicer. I think there was a video on this as well, which I will post in a link. And I have a from and to date and I select an um, customer to see the sales. Uh, again, uh, if I, uh, for example, in 2020-13, if I unselect, maybe pick a couple of, uh, one customer here and apply the changes, uh, I get this error and in this case if if uh, let's see if this customer has a sale between the date range we selected um, so I, I think this customer has a sale so now if you see in 2013 uh, in the whole year Aaron Alexander has a sales so we do see the sales for that particular um, uh, customer and but if I select Aaron Adams uh, let me bring this visual just to make sure that we can see if that has a sales or not. Um, perfect. So uh, 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 Aaron Adams also have a sales in, in, in the period we have selected. But if I select Aaron Allen, that customer does not have any sales as you can see. And if I try to do apply changes here, I'll get that. In this case, in previous case, we were not getting error. Apply changes does not do anything, but was not giving the error. And when we switched between the pages, we see the error. But when I have the date, a slicer selected and a customer selected, which does not have a sale, I get the error immediately. And um, I don't know why the behavior is different between two cases, but the reason behind is the same because I'm selecting a customer and passing it to paginated report as in a parameter which does not have a sales and I'm getting this error message. So again, the, if I go back to Aaron Baker and that, that uh, Aaron Baker, if I click that, he has a sales and if I apply the changes, and it should, uh, the report should work. Uh, again, this error message comes. Uh, again, I have no idea why. Um, and now we will see um, $750 sales. Again, the fix here is my customer list. I should, uh, um, you know, filter this list purely based on the sales uh, so that the end user when um, and the user is consuming these paginated reports embedded in Power BI, they don't see this error because they will not understand what they're doing wrong to make a, a, a user friendly and make an uh, amazing user experience. We have to improve 
uh, our selection so that the user end user does not see these errors. So what we're going to do is again here in the customer, I'm going to filter, I already have filter on this visual, I will say is not blank, apply the filter. And now Aaron Allen is not going to be a available selection. As you can see that disappeared that uh, Aaron Allen was the third customer. If I just remove this, uh, see Aaron Allen shows up in here, but if I put this sales is not blank, so he disappeared. So that means now I, if I pick a, the customer I'm picking from this particular range, um, a slicer is the one who has the uh, sales. Even if I make my slicer uh, range smaller or bigger, so my selection of my customer will change based on that because we, we put a visual level filter. If there is no sales, then don't show that customer. And now we our selection is a little bit different than what there is no Aaron Baker anymore, and uh, Aaron Chen is there. So this this is what will be the fix. Um, if you are creating uh, cascading parameters, or you are passing the parameter value to the paginated report, uh, if if there is no value, um, then you might see these. Uh, if there is no value or no data to show in paginated report, you will see these errors when you are embedding that report uh, in 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 Power BI. And the solution is uh, filter your selection list based on the measures. Uh, you used in paginated report so that the user can only pick those values uh, which are relevant uh, for to, to show the data and can populate paginated report. I hope you found this video useful. It's a small trick. Uh, I ran into this a uh, few times um, when I was learning embedding paginated reports in Power BI and then I found the what was the root cause and what is the solution for that. Uh, I don't know how many paginated reports you guys embed uh, but a lot of my customers who are using pagina reports, almost a uh, lot of time I have to embed those reports because they want to have like export the data out of paginated reports uh, fully formatted and then they embed those reports in Power BI. Um, anyhow, um, something which I wanted to share, I hope you find it useful and can use this technique in your reports. Uh, until next video, have a good day. Bye for now.